Hi, this is Chris with King Grizzly. Today, I want to show you how you can easily add icons to your Elementor navigation menus. It gives your users some really nice visual feedback when they're browsing your menus, and it's very simple to implement. Now, you might find some plugins that let you achieve a similar effect to this, but I want to show you a really simple way to do it without any plugins at all. So, how do we do it? Well, let's get started. So why would you want to add icons to your menus? Well, let's take a look at an example. I've got a simple Elementor nav menu on a page here with just some simple styling. And as you can see that some of the items have got drop downs. Now let's say we wanted to add the country flag in front of each of these two items, the USA and the Canada contact items. And on top of that, maybe we only want to show the flags on the mobile nav menu when we're viewing the page on a mobile device. So if we switch to mobile view now, and then take a look at the menu. You can see that here in mobile view, I've added the flags and it looks really nice. It gives your users some instant visual feedback about what it is that they're clicking. So let's get started with building this. First off, we need to add the icons that we want to use to our media library. I'm using SVG images for this tutorial, which are a good bet because they can be resized up and down without any loss in quality. And the file sizes are usually very small much smaller than something like a PNG or a JPEG. However, Elementor doesn't support SVGs out of the box, so the first thing we need to do is make sure that we've enabled the feature. So if we switch to our WordPress admin dashboard and then select Elementor, Settings, and then click the Advanced tab, you'll see this option in the list here, Enable Unfiltered File Uploads. So you just need to make sure that that's selected as Enable, and then save your changes. Now, unfortunately, this alone won't let you upload an SVG directly to your media library. Now, there are plugins that will let you do that, but I prefer not to use additional plugins if at all possible. So I'll show you a quick way of uploading it into your media library directly from Elementor. So in Elementor, several of the widgets allow you to upload a custom SVG icon. So let's just search for one of those, something like an icon box. So I'll search for icon and then just drag it onto your page. It doesn't matter where, I'm going to put it underneath the nav menu. Okay, now when we hover over it, we've now got the option to upload an SVG. So if we click that and then from upload files, we select files and then we upload our US flag SVG image. Okay, and there it is. Now you don't have to actually insert it, you can close this window at that point because that's now already uploaded the image to our media library. So I'll repeat the process again, upload SVG, upload files, select a file, and do the same with the Canada flag. And again, you don't actually need to insert it because we've now got both of our images in the media library. And you can repeat that for as many icons as you want to upload. So close that window. And now you can just delete the widget because we don't actually need it anymore. And we've now got our SVGs in our media library. The second step is to now edit the WordPress menu that we're using for our nav menu and actually indicate which menu items we want to add icons to. So let's switch to the WordPress menu. So we select appearance and menus, and then we select the menu that we're using on our page. And here, as you can see, it's just a standard WordPress menu. But what we need to do now is to identify which items we want to add icons to. And we do this by opening up the two items. So that's Contact USA and Contact Canada and giving them a CSS class name, as you can see here and here. Now, by default, you may not see this CSS classes option. So if you can't see it when you click on the drop down arrow here, just scroll back to the top and select screen options up here and just make sure that you've got this CSS classes box ticked. And once you've ticked that, you should see the option to add a CSS class name. So against each of your menu items, just simply give it any name you like. Just make sure that it's unique and not something you've used anywhere else on the site. So I've used main nav contact USA and main nav contact Canada. And that's all we need to do in here. Just save the menu and then we can move on to the next step. 
So we've got our icons in the media library and we've given a CSS class name to the menu items where we want to use those icons. So now the final step is just to write some very simple CSS to actually place those icons in the relevant menu items. So back in Elementor, we need to select the nav menu, uh, make sure we're on the advanced tab and come down to custom CSS. And then we need to add some CSS just here. Now you may prefer to add this in the global site setting CSS or create it as a custom code snippet. It doesn't really matter. I'm just doing it here directly on the widget to make things easier to show you. So what are we actually doing with the CSS? Let's run through it very quickly. So the first block. With the first block, we're simply specifying the path to our first icon SVG file and setting it as a background image against that menu item. So you may prefer to remove this part because I'm only targeting mobile devices, but you may prefer to target all devices. So if you remove this highlighted part here, that icon will then apply to desktop, tablet and mobile. Alternatively, you can change this to tablet if you only want to target tablets or change it to desktop if you only want the icons to appear on desktop. The next part here is specifying the class name that we applied to our menu item in the previous step in the WordPress menu. So an important point to note here is not to forget the period in front of the class name. Uh, when you specify the class name in the WordPress menu, you specify it without the period, but here you must put it in, otherwise it won't work. And then simply add in the background image and that is the path to our file that we uploaded to the media library. So if you go to the media library and look against that icon, you'll see uh, the path there and you can just copy it from there. Um, be sure to only copy the part from the WP content onwards, but make sure you include the forward slash before the WP content as well. So it's this part here that you need to use. And we then just repeat this for however many menu items that we want to add icons. So I've only got two, so I've replicated that block here. And here you can see the path to the Canada flag SVG. The final block just applies to all of your menu items. So I've got the first one here and the second one, but you need to add in as many as you've specified above here and make sure you're targeting all of them because the final block of code applies to all of the icons that you're adding. So the first declaration is the background size. So let me switch to responsive mode and show you what it looks like on mobile so we can see what it is that we're doing. Right, so the background size, this effectively changes the size of the icon. So for example, I could change this from 40 to 60 and it'd be much larger, or I could make it 20 pixels and it'd be much smaller, but I've decided that 40 looks about right. Background repeat. This simply says, don't repeat the icon across the width of the menu item. We only want to show it once. And then background position. This will indent the icon from the left. So I've decided that 30 pixels is about right because it lines up my icon with the edge of the other menu items, the text above it. But you could also change that to like 20 or 40 and you can see it moving there. But I think 30 looks about right. You may need to adjust this value depending on how it looks when you're um, adding it to your project. And then finally, padding left. This actually adds some padding to the menu item itself or the, the text of the menu item so it doesn't overlap with the icon. So I've decided that 60 is about right because it adds enough padding and leaves a nice gap between the icon and the menu item. But you could change that, for example, 40 brings it right up next to the icon or you can leave a bigger gap, 80, but I prefer 60. All of this CSS is down below in the description below the video, so feel free to copy and paste it from there to use it in your own project. But for now, that's all you need to do in here. So simply hit on update and save your changes. And there we have it. That's all there is to it. We've now added some nice icons to a couple of our menu items and they're only showing up on mobile. If we now switch back to desktop, we can see that they're not showing. 
And as I said before, you can adjust this if you want to use the icons across desktop, tablet and mobile, or just choose specific devices. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more Elementor tips, tricks and tutorials that don't take up too much of your time, then please do consider subscribing to the channel and click the notifications bell. Thanks for watching, I'm Chris with King Grizzly, and I'll see you next time.